So far, only the Hunkpapa tribe. We haven't, you know, founded another city, which will be a different tribe, probably. Got these guys off exploring. Bring these guys back. Awesome. They've got those crab now as well. We can improve those and our people can have, you know, crab while they smoke their cigarettes. Awesome. More people. Oh, yeah. Awesome. More people, but with more people comes more unhappiness. What's this? Oh, that's the other mod I've got that I completely forgot to talk about. Um, it's called Civ Names by Policies. And what it does is um, it'll dynamically name your civ and everyone else's civ, civs based on um, what social policies you've adopted, how big your empire is, stuff like that. So that's really cool. Sometimes you end up with really weird names, like the Great Priesthood of Arabia and stuff. It can be really fun. Usually, though, like I just go for tradition and I end up like a kingdom or an empire. It's really boring. It really only gets interesting if you go for, whatchamacallit, uh, piety. Looks like there might be a city-state up there. 20 faith. Awesome, we can found a pantheon. Don't have to actually, like, wait a million turns. What am I doing? Why am I not building a worker? Oh my god, people. Rage harder at me. God damn it. <laughs> Crap. Um. What to do for a pantheon? What do we have a lot of? Um, a lot of it you get like bonuses from resources, but these resources, though they are compatible with that resource buildings mod, they're not compatible with like religion. So you can't really get a pantheon to improve them. Um, we could do culture from pastures. It looks like we're going to have a lot of like cows and horses and stuff. Pastures are always cool. My, um, or plantations. Mm, I think, like, in terms of, like, which one we're going to have more of, I think we're going to have more pastures than we will plantations. So I'm going to go for, where's the culture from pastures? Please tell me. Okay. For a second, I thought someone else had taken it. Plus, God of the Open Sky, that kind of fits with, like, the Sioux, you know, the out on the plains, the open sky and everything. So we'll go for that. Once we actually get a worker to build the pastures, so that, like, you know, I can stop being an idiot and actually build the worker. Let's see who we've got. Vilnius. Lithuania. That kind of, you know, throws the whole Native American theme, but whatever. Lithuania's cool. I can dig it. As long as they give me their... Even brute beasts and wandering birds do not fall into the same traps or nets twice. Cool. I let the quote go. What do they have? They have jewelry and jade, which are two things that I don't have at all. I can't even have jewelry. It's, a, it's unique to city states. Plus, you just get happiness from being friends with them because they're mercantile. So if we ever have happiness issues, which we might, considering there's only one other luxury, just we can ally up with Vilnius and it'll help us out. I hope I hope it's not pronounced differently than the way I've been saying it. I really think it's Vilnius. Maybe it's Vilnius. What is it? It's like Vilna in Polish or something? I don't speak Polish, but I've seen it written other ways before. Yeah, uh, the other thing. There, there is no ocean where the Sioux live. <laughs> I think Lake Superior is the biggest thing, to closest thing to an ocean. But, so yeah, that kind of throws the historical authenticity. But that's not why we're here. We're not here for historical authenticity. I'm hoping nobody comes down and like scoops up all this land while I'm dawdling over here building a fucking granary like a fucking moron. But I'm invested already. I'm I'm only one turn away from finishing it. We'll we'll finish it and then we'll build a worker and hopefully our people won't you know go into complete hate mode and tear us to pieces. You know like draw and quarter us in the public square type of thing. Twelve turns to build a worker. Is there no production? Is there none? Jesus, there's not nearly enough production. That kind of sucks. Oh, it just went from 12 to 9. Did they choose to work a different tile or something? Whatever, I'll take it. Holy shit. Not my problem. Shit. Shit. I don't want them to get my scout. Let's go this way. Ooh. 
Nekwa ni Moctezuma. Emperor Inca Ino Las Tecas. Lakin Tecwa Tlen. It's fucking Montezuma. Great. Our, close, our closest neighbor is out of his fucking mind. Well, he's not out of his fucking mind, but he likes to go to war. And he'll probably try to destroy us. Great. Um, we can't trade embassies because neither of us knows how to write. Did the Aztecs have a writing system? I think the Maya had a writing system. I don't think the Aztecs did. I think the Maya were the only ones in, in the pre-Columbian Americas to have a writing system. That's pretty cool. I think they're in this game too. I think I put them in. But they're up there, so... He who commands the sea has command of everything. Um, this is pretty much flat terrain, so we'll go for shock. Open terrain bonus. And we'll heal them up, fortify them for a little while so that these guys can't get them. Okay, what do we really need? Hmm... Oh, we've already got trapping. I must have researched it without even, like, describing why. But now we can build our teepees, which is awesome. Um, I feel like we should probably get some of these basic texts done. Mining or archery? Mm, or we could do writing. Or we could do optics. Um, let's go for archery. We can build some archers and arch people. I like to, I like to change arch into a verb. Like an arch. Okay, wait a minute. Here's the thing. What policy has he gone for? Honor. Great. So I don't know how much he's going to expand. I was worried he would have gone for, like, liberty, and then he would have just expanded all over the fucking place down here, and we would have, you know, gotten just jacked of all of our territory. Then I would have to go to war with him. I'm going to avoid going to war if I can, if I can avoid it, you know. Because, come on, the Sioux are fairly peaceful. Long quote, don't want to listen to it, gonna skip it, I don't give a shit. I really, I really don't give a shit. I liked it better when Leonard Nimoy did the fucking narration, that was great. Civ 4 all the way. Golden unhappiness for citizens in the capital. That sort of solves the unhappiness problem, and it also gets us even more gold. I think we're already getting tons, because they're, you know, working on these tobacco plantations. Which gets us, you know, two base gold from, I mean, two base food from the tile, and then gold from the, uh, tobacco. Which is sick. Um, might as well just do mining, just finish it up. We don't have too many, like, special techs or anything we really need to make a beeline for. Any one, we don't even really have any wonders we need to make a beeline for yet. Because if we're going to go for a, uh, whatchamacallit, culture victory, probably going to want something from here, maybe the Oracle or the Parthenon. Maybe the Hanging Gardens, I don't know. I don't put too much emphasis on wonders. I think you can win really easily without them. But I like to build them anyway. That's why I just build tons. I always usually end up with the most wonders, even though I don't like them. I mean, I do like them. Never mind. I'm rambling. So we'll go for writing once we're done with mining and see if we can um, work on any wonders. Problem being, we need to get a settler so we can find a next, next city. And we also don't have enough production. <laughs> We don't have enough production to, you know, get the settler and then the wonder and do it all without, um, taking ages to do it. Hmm. Yeah, he's gonna go for that. There's no way we're gonna get those spices. Oh, well. Come on, finish up the worker. I mean, like, even if I put it on production focus, I don't think anything would really change. Yeah, I don't think that would even do much because there's just no like hills or you know production based resources nearby we'll go for writing then we'll see what we can see what we can do and there you go there's the aztec capital tenochtitlan it was like the biggest city in the world before the spanish like destroyed it i think maybe not the biggest in the world but it was huge before the uh yeah the spanish conquistadors ruined it all bastards all right. I feel like I should go, like, take this guy back to our territory. Like, lure him in and then attack him with the city so that I don't have to do as much work. Or maybe I'll just attack him. I don't know. Plus, I get an open terrain bonus with this guy, and he's stuck in the woods eating all those deer. God damn it. He's just getting in the way. Oh, fuck. Now this trireme is going to try to kill us, too. I hate barbarians. I hate them. Look, we found... 
three parter. Interesting. That gave us a bit more happiness, I think. Yeah. Cool. Um, jeez. Jeez, let's go for the settler. Let's do it. We gotta get, gotta get settling. Are they using these cows? Okay, good. Because then we can get more production if we improve the cows. Oh, and culture. I completely forgot that that was the pantheon I chose. Awesome. Look at that, doing 61 damage. It's because they look so awesome. Actually, I don't think that has anything to do with it, but... Wait, Vilnius target nearby encampment. Where? Oh, pfft. That's far enough away that I don't give a shit. Come on. Do what I want you to do. Ooh, is that a... I thought that was a lake. What the hell is it? It's weird. Oh well. Keep going. Shit. Yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna get some culture and production. I think that was the first wonder someone built. Stonehenge. He who destroys a good book kills reason. Itself. No, we're not doing fucking Stonehenge. I love that movie. Oh shit, we just killed that guy. Awesome. Fear the mighty Sue. Alright. Shit. What do? What do? Let's go for bronze working. What? Wait, what the fuck am I doing? I'm just arbitrarily picking things. Hmm. Take ages to get drama and poetry. I don't think it's even worth it. Maybe the wheel. There's not a lot of, like, rivers to actually take advantage of the wheel with, though. You know, so, so we can build the, uh, water mill. Um, fuck it. Might as well just do it anyway. Let's keep going. Oh shit. 100 gold. Because I stumbled into a ruin that I didn't know was there. Awesome. I'll take 100 gold. Means I can, like, buy a. Like a fucking warrior or something so I can kill the goddamn barbarians. Fuck me. Um, hmm, yeah. Shit. Is that a waste of money? Oh no, holy shit. So cheap. I didn't realize... I just, like, I never play on quick, so I don't realize how cheap things are on quick. Because you can, like, make the same amount of money you would make on, like, standard speed, and everything's just cheaper because you're playing on quick. Yeah, I decided to buy an archer instead of a worker, or a warrior, because, look, he's dead. I win. Plus, these guys are coming back to defend. You can help defend from the barbarians. Um, are we gonna finish it? Oh man! Sometimes, like, you can stop for a moment, come back, press it, one turn later, you're done. I love that. What's going on? Why is it going like? Whatever. I don't care. Another city-state. Who is it? Yerevan. It's Armenia. Interesting. So we've met Armenia and Lithuania. Bunch of former Soviet republics so far. Yes. More production, more culture. I love it. Oh my god, I'm getting really sick of this trireme. I'm gonna kill it. I wonder if I can kill it with, um... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I feel like we're doing really shitty so far. But... It'll probably turn out fine in the end. Where do we want to found the second city? Um... I feel like on top of this hill would be good. We'd have really good access to the marble. We'd get that bison that we still haven't gotten. We'd have access to those horses, that tobacco, all this wheat. Um, and that would allow us to maybe found a future city up here where there's these whales. Um, without, you know, like, overcrowding the map. And then we could found another city maybe there, another one like there or something. I think that's like a reasonable, reasonable place to found a city. We don't have too much space, but we've got, you know, quite a good amount. Again, I'm doing bronze working for absolutely no reason. I didn't even, like, think about it still absurd to do drama and poetry. Maybe after we found our second city, we'll have more science, so we'd be able to do that. Fucking Aztecs, get out of the way. What do we want to do? If we do this, we'll get more production and culture, so I'm gonna go for that. And then, oh shit, but we're running out of happiness. Fuck me. 
<laughs> I'm tired, people. I'm sorry. Usually I'm a bit more, you know, like, I think more before I do things. Today I'm not thinking. I'm impulsively playing Civ. Okay. Okay.